Hey guys, as you may know, I um, purchased a new laptop cooler for my new laptop, and it was basically to replace this one. I have a 17-inch laptop. This is not for a 17-inch laptop. <clears throat> so I bought the MZXT Cryo LX. Google it. It's sweet. So um, anyway, as you can see by the title, this is my unboxing video. Please enjoy. This extremely large box, I know what's in here. This is my first hardware unboxing. It's called the Cryo LX. It's the MZXT Cryo LX notebook cooler. Stand, USB hub, etc. I'll just show you. I ordered it from Newegg.com. Probably won't. Yeah, you know, I'll see it later. It's got new egg written all over the box, so uh, I'm gonna open it up now. Oh my gosh. Hopefully, it's all intact. I'll tell you about it. It's it's an all aluminum notebook cooler with three fans, 320 millimeter fans. It um it has a four port USB hub on the back. And it's going to power this baby, this 17-inch uh, HP Pavilion DV7T. <laughs> Give it a minute. It's a lot of peanuts. Packing peanuts. it fits in this video. Uh, basically it's a super large box for a not so large package. So, the world's largest full aluminum notebook cooler. The box is cold for some reason. And the receipt. See, it's just about packing. Alright. This is the front of the box. It has a handle. How convenient is that? It says it's the world's largest uh, full aluminum notebook cooler. I think that was backwards for you guys, but you get the point. Full, full aluminum. I'm about to unbox it now. Alright, here we go. It's got... Oh my gosh. It's very large. Here we go. This. Samurai sword. There we go. And it is freezing cold. It is so cold. I can only imagine how cold this would make my laptop. It's making my hands cold. I have to put it down. I'm telling you, it's freezing. Probably because it's January and it's cold outside anyway, but really, come on. First of all, they do give you a little, little bit of instructions. Before, they didn't do that. It's telling you it features a USB cable for powering the fans. It gives you basically the whole, you know, everything you need to know about it. Nothing fancy. Alright, here's what was in the box, basically. This USB to power cable, right here. USB power. And another USB to USB 2.0. But don't worry, I'm not losing two USB ports. Or, yeah, I, I am, but I'm gaining four on the back of this thing. So, gosh, it's cold. Let's open this up. Jeez, it's large. That's what she said. Okay. <laughs> Um, it's folded up right now, probably for packaging purposes. There we go. I got there's a black version and a silver version. I got black. My God, it's cold. It's so cold. And I've heard of those aluminum coolers that somehow passively cool your notebook. Now I know how it works because this is really, really cold to the touch. And that silica gel thing, this one's massive also. 
All right. Like I said, she's cold. I have to stop this. On the back, there are four USB 2.0 ports. That means they will power a um. It's cold. They will power a external hard drive. They will power your flash drives, your mouse thing, or whatever. I already have a USB hub over here. I don't feel like showing it to you, but I mean, wow. The other thing on the back is this other. This is the power. These are the four USB ports, and this is where you plug in for power and plug it in for the USB hub. And obviously on the right hand side there is that control, fan control, up and down. It's convenient. And I'm not sure how to show you these three fans. There you go. You can, I think you can see that. Those are three huge 120 millimeter fans. So. For comparison, since you probably don't have something like this sitting around, I'm going to show you the one that's under the laptop I'm using right now. That is not cooling it in any way, which is the reason I bought this from Newegg. This, well, obviously it doesn't have a USB hub, but it keeps it off the ground a little bit. Hardware. This. It fits under the middle section of my notebook. Two little tiny fans and a USB to power. That's all it needs. Power there on the side. It cost me ten bucks, so was, you know. Um, but it's plastic, so it does not even passively cool. This is just freezing. Oh my god. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be like my travel one. Put it on my lap. This is not for your lap. It'll freeze your lap solid, and then and then it'll burn your lap because it's heavy. <clears throat> so, also, I forgot to mention there's these rubber feet. Um, oh, I forgot it's, it swings. It closes and opens for portability, but not really. Here's the rubber. Tons of vents with three huge fans. And I feel like this will never warm up because it's completely frozen solid right now. Uh, the rubber, your laptop will not move. On the bottom, on the other side, there's your rubber feet. One here, here, and here. It'll keep your laptop on the ground. It ain't gonna move. And that's it. Um, I hope to get a camera to review some, uh, you know, to actually go around it and see, show you a picture of it with the laptop on top. Here, I'll show you this is the old 15 inch laptop cooler, which was stupid because I have a 17 inch laptop, on top of it. Yeah, no, 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 no chance here. It's just, oh my gosh. Can't wait to get this thing. I'm going to get speed fan running, and uh, I'll post in the description the difference in temperature that I get from, you know, using this thing. Thanks for watching. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that unboxing video. Um, I will hopefully review it more and get over all the other features about it. But until then, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.